Welcome to Nintendo Guru Daily. Today, we're going to discuss what I want from the next new Legend of Zelda game. So here we go. What's up everybody, Bobby here, Nintendo Guru. Let's just jump right into it. So, I am a huge Legend of Zelda fan. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this series. Ever since the first time I played the original top-down Zelda game, uh, to the point where I got tricked by my cousin, like my cousin Johnny was like, hey man, throw the boomerang. Now leave the room. Oh my God, you lost the boomerang. And I really started to get upset because I thought I lost his boomerang. He was just tricking me. He was lying to me. Oh, son of a... Anyway, so... I mean, from there, it was Zelda 2. Like, I'm a big fan of Zelda 2, and I know it's not one of the most favorite games in the franchise, but I continue to play, to this day, the Legend of Zelda series. It's the one, always the one game that draws me into Nintendo big time. Um, it's the closest to, like, lore and history we have, minus the new revelations of, like, the Xenoblade Chronicles and the Fire Emblems. Before those games came around, all we had really was the Legend of Zelda. So I was sitting here today and I was thinking to myself, like, what do I want from the next Legend of Zelda? And the next new Legend of Zelda. I know the next one we get is Link's Awakening, the Quasi one um, that's coming out of Cadence of Hyrule. But Cadence of Hyrule is not a Zelda game at all. Uh, and, and Link's Awakening is basically a remaster. So as much as I'm happy we're getting Link's Awakening, I thought to myself, that's good. But what more do we want? What more could happen to this franchise? And my mind started to kind of run off. And, and so let's just start off. The first thing I want from the next new Legend of Zelda game is I want top down. I want Link to the Past style top down. Now you can do HD graphics. You can make stuff look phenomenal. It doesn't have to be Link's Awakening style graphics. I would even go as far as to say, like, I wouldn't even mind a hand-drawn top-down Zelda game. We've never really truly had a true hand-drawn top-down Zelda game. Kind of like Breath of the Wild, I guess. Maybe a mix between Breath of the Wild and Link Between Worlds. That would be kind of cool. So, my first phase is, like, I need a top-down Zelda. But I don't want the formulaic top-down Zelda. I like what they did with Breath of the Wild. And I would like them to kind of expand upon that. So what I would do is I would take the Link to the Past map, Link Between Worlds as well, that, that map, and multiply it by four or eight times. Like, just make it a massive world. But the one thing that I liked about Breath of the Wild was they kind of took the handcuffs and the chains off and were just like, go, have fun with it. So I would kind of lean onto that and go, okay, what we did there, we're going to keep going, but we're going to make some changes to it. So I would implement shrine-type levels again, like little puzzles within the world. But I would utilize these shrines to be like basically keys. And where I get that point is, is this. I would also implement temples. So what I would say is for every 10 to 15 shrines that you tackle, you are then able to go into a temple. And what I would also say is you can go into any temple in every, any order. It doesn't matter except for this. It's a progression system. So the first temple you open, no matter where it is in the map, it's going to cost you the orbs, however many orbs it costs to get into the first. Then the second one, doesn't matter which one you pick, it's going to cost the next amount. And then the next one, doesn't matter which one you pick, you get where I'm going here, you have to then have that many orbs. I think this unlock system would make it very cool to, be, to give the feel of an open world, open air, can go anywhere, can do anything. So often with the top-down Zeldas, they become very formulaic where, like, hey, you need a, a hook shot in this level in order to conquer this level and to beat this level. Although that was what I loved when I was a kid, I don't want that again now. I think what they did was they basically unshackled us with Breath of the Wild, and I want that trend to continue. And I know that a lot of people are like, well, the top-downs are kind of not as serious as the big open world or the 3D Zeldas. 
when you look back at like Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, those games felt like they were more serious and set more serious tone than the top downs of us. But I would like them to kind of go, no, we're going to take the top downs very serious this time. I would implement voice acting and I would kind of maybe get it into the a mode of when you think of like a Fire Emblem where you get the two characters on the page with like a little banner across the bottom. You would have Link's image there and whoever he's talking to and I would implement voice acting. I would have the voice acting basically very similar to how they do Fire Emblem. I feel like that, that style, that formulaic thing would be really awesome. I would love it. What I would also say is what you get in your temples are your Triforce pieces. You're building to a bigger thing. Um, I would like this to either be a prequel or a sequel maybe to the storyline of Breath of the Wild, but necessarily it doesn't have to be. It can kind of be its own thing as well. I'm not really chained into what the storyline has to be or where it fits in the timeline. It could be the whole start over, like, you you know, here you are, you're, you're Link, you're the hero of time of some sorts, and you need to go unlock and, and find things. I think also maybe the other answer to this too is to allow you to pick what character you want to be like of course you have the link ability to pick and be link but maybe they put a twist on this or a spin on this where you could kind of be like zelda um what we learned very quickly within breath of the wild she is the linchpin to all the legend of zelda lore so and i always i've said this numerous times i feel like she is the true hero of breath of the wild um, I'm not going to get into spoilers. If you don't know, beat the game completely. Get all the uh, the images, the, the storyline arcs, all the all the cutscenes. You unlock all that stuff, the memories. Then come talk to me, and we'll debate about who's the who's the true hero of that game. That's all I'm going to say. But that aside, I feel like you could maybe change the formula a little bit. Maybe Zelda is your cohort. Maybe some shrines or some whatever, like you take Link in, and then... You could also pick Zelda. Maybe there's different, uh, maybe she has different abilities that Link doesn't have that helps her get through certain shrines or temples a little bit easier. Maybe you need her through th certain things because she can allow you to do things. Something along those lines would be a lot of fun. I don't necessarily feel like you have to have the damsel in distress type storyline with this. I feel like we can kind of move and progress and move the pin a little bit further into things. Don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not the story writer and I don't know exactly how it all works and how it all goes together. But ultimately, when I look at it, I just go, I want this thing to be top down, HD graphics, massive, eight times max. Like, I would love it to go up to eight times the size of Link to the Past and Link Between World size map. Like, open it up. Maybe if you make it so big, actually, Link to the Past is actually within that Hyrule sections, like you go through and it's very memorable. As you're going through, you're like, oh, wait a minute. And maybe the whole area is destroyed. Maybe it's demolished. And as you're going through, you're like, oh, I remember this and that. And and, and maybe that's the storyline you continue off. As you make it a sequel to either Link to the Past or Link Between Worlds and go that route with it. There's so much that they could do with this game. But I feel like that's basically the crux of what I want and what I hope that Nintendo leans on and does in the future. Because I would love just to take what they did with Breath of the Wild and now implement it in a top-down Zelda. Because here's the thing, the original Zelda, to me, was very much like Breath of the Wild. I feel like in Breath of the Wild, they drew so much inspiration from how things were done in that original game that I would love for them to continue this trend. So I would love for them to go, what we learned in Breath of the Wild, we're now going to apply to a top-down zone. So we'll see how it works out. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching today's Nintendo Guru Daily. What I want to know is, what do you want from the next Legend of Zelda? Is there anything that I said today that you can echo and say like, yes, that's what I want too? Was there anything that I didn't touch on that you go, hey man, you missed this. This is the way it should be. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, please slap the like button down below. Share it with all your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'm begging you. Hook me up. Follow me Instagram, Twitter, at NintendoGurus. That is all. Peace out, Preston.